Hey YouTube, it's Andrew, SAB Outdoors. Um, so it's November, a couple days after Thanksgiving. Uh, here in East Idaho, the weather's finally turned. Um, tonight, I'm gonna sleep in my backyard. The temperature is supposed to be a low of 12 degrees. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is I have my Revelation quilt uh, that I got from Enlightened Equipment. Um, and it is rated to 10 degrees. I used it elk hunting, backpacking elk hunting this year, um, and the weather was super hot. I think the coldest it got at night was like 50, um, and I was sweating all night long. I slept on top of it most of the night. Um, and so tonight, we're finally getting a, a low temperature. I'm going to uh, give the back rating uh, a full review. So I basically, I've, I've stripped down to a base layer, what I would use when I'm elk hunting. So just a basic sweater, um, late September, I might use some like long john type things. Um, and then I've got my, I got a two man backpacking tent just set up in my yard. Um, there's snow outside on the ground. I'm sleeping on top of you, probably about an inch. Um, so we'll get this bag set up inside the tent and go from there. All right, guys. So I got my uh, tent all set up, got my quilt inside my tent, uh, just for video proof. Um, I'm sleeping on top of about an inch of snow. Um, tonight's low, I just looked again, it, it is indeed about 12 degrees. Um, and I'm testing out, as I said before, the true temperature rating of my sleeping bag, or my Revelation quilt from Enlightened Equipment. I'm sleeping in a river country, uh, two-man um, trekking pole tent. Um, and the pad I'm sleeping on, I'll crawl inside here. Ooh. So the pad I'm sleeping on is from Cabela's. It's an instinct something, has an R rating of some something. I've slept on it a handful of times. It's actually super comfortable. Um, so I'll just see you guys in the morning, I guess. Let you know how it goes. Well, it's the following morning. I spent the night outside in my uh, little two-man tent from River Country. Um, it snowed all night, heavy winds. One time, at one point, the wind had caved the tent in and was actually kind of woke me up because it hit me in the head. Uh, but the whole purpose of staying out there last night was to see how well my sleep system did with my sleeping quilt uh, and my pad. Um, but overall, it was a pretty warm night. I actually really never was cold, with the exception of like if I was laying on my left side, my hip is the most heaviest part, and I could feel the cold coming through um, through my sleeping pad, which is just to recap, is a Cabela Instinct. I looked it up on the internet. Uh, it's, it says it has a rating of 4R value. Uh, so I guess if you're planning on sleeping on top of snow, I wouldn't recommend that pad. The times I've used it in the past, uh, elk hunting and such in the summer, it's been uh, super comfortable, super warm, never had any concerns. On top of snow, it's a fail. Uh, as far as my uh, Enlightened Equipment Revolution, Revelation quilt, uh, it was fantastic. Uh, I had a 10 degree quilt. Um, with the exception of the kind of the failing sleeping pad, I would stay completely warm, no problem. Um, so anyway, see ya.